In our earlier episode, we have used Google AI Studio and we have interacted with the AI real time by sharing our screen. But this time, let's take a look how we can enable the API capabilities for Google AI Studio. It has a nice documentation as well. You can take a look. I'll give the link in the description. And for that, what we need, we will need to authenticate to the Google AI Studio whenever we are doing some API calls. In order to do that, we'll need one API key. You can think this as one password or something like that. So let's click on this button called get API key and let's see. From this API key window, we need to click on this create API key button over here. Let's click on that and it will normally select the project. I mean, whenever we sign up with Google AI Studio, it automatically creates one cloud project for you, which normally named as Gemini API. In my cloud, I have other projects as well. That is why it is showing those projects. But let's take the Gemini API project and click on create API key in this project. And here is my key. I need to click on this copy button and I'll be saving it somewhere securely. Treat this as your password and make it very secure. Do not expose this to internet. Okay, now our API key is done and we can follow this documentation and all we need is basically one environment where we can run our Python programs. We'll be basically using Python for this example, but later on we will try to explore REST APIs and other parts as well. So I'm using basically Google Cloud Cell. You can use anything or your local machine with internet connection. What I'll do, I'll go to GitHub and obviously the link will be in the description. This Das Learning Org and DevOps YouTube. I'll simply click on this code, copy the HTTPS URL, then I'll clone this git clone this is a public one and it will be copied automatically as i see the folder is created which is devops youtube and meanwhile open that particular folder from our cloud shell code editor open folder and i need to change the path to devops youtube click ok somehow this is little slow today and here are our folders so i'll go into this ai folder and let us discuss what we want to achieve we will be importing the library from gen ai and we will be putting the API key here. Then what model we are going to use? We will be using Gemini 1.5 hyphen flash. If we go to our settings and if we check for the API plan information, you will see the limitations in the free varies depending on the model. So if I take, for example, in the pro model, it is two RPM or two requests per minute. If we change it to Gemini 1.5 flash, it is 15 RPM or 15 requests per minute can be achieved at maximum. So we'll be using this one and we are defining Gen AI generative model. What is that model we are going to try? Then generate content and we can ask any question like any chat which we have done earlier. So same thing we are going via the API and it can be well integrated in your application code. Then we are printing response.txt. Whatever response the model generates, it will be stored into the response then we are just printing response.txt on our screen and let's change our API key and along with that not only text we'll be trying to search with some images we'll see that let's grab our API key which we have generated copy the entire line replace everything in between double quotation paste it save the file maybe meanwhile I'll update all the files over here wherever your API key is written save this file and this one as well that's great so now we will be trying that text based api call change our directory and here are our files now let's try oh before that before that what i'll do i'll create one virtual environment but that is completely optional you can use traditional python and you can install the libraries directly on your machine that's not a problem python hyphen m v e n v for virtual environment and what will be my folder name that is env that is fine with me Hit enter. If I put ls now, one folder called env is created. And let's do one thing, source. So basically I'm enabling our environment, which we have created now. Source env bin activate. And as you see, the Python environment is activated. If we type pip freeze, we'll see that no Python module is installed. Basically this is one fresh environment, which I'm mimicking. And we need to install one library, which is the Gen AI. For that, we need to run this command. pip install Google Generative AI. Let's run that. 
paste the comment and hit enter. I'll put the documentation link where you will get these instructions. If I do the pip freeze again, you'll see some libraries are installed along with that command. Now let's try this one. Python and the file name is textai. So textai.py. And what was our question? Let's take a look on that. I want to ask what is Tesla coil? And let's see what it responds. Python textai.py. And here is our response. A Tesla coil is a resonant transformer circuit that provides or produces high voltages and blah blah. You can take a look. And I think this is quite good information. It was developed by Nikola Tesla. And this is how we can ask any question from our programs. Now let's take a look how we can search something with an image, which might be a little bit more interesting. Let's see that. I'll close this file. I'll open this image AI HTTP.py. And here is one image link, which is kind of coming from the internet. I'll explain everything. And let's open that image first and let's see. And if I open this link, you'll see this is one waterfall. And same thing, we are configuring the API key for GenAI. What GenAI model we want to use? We are using the same one, Gemini 1.5 flash. The image path, that is basically the HTTPS link of that image. You can take any image which is publicly available and you can have some value or some response around that. Then I'm using one library called HTTPX, which will basically use the get method to use that image, which is stored in this image path one. Then I'm asking something similar to our previous one. I want to know about this image. I do not know what this image is about, for example. Now in response, I'm triggering model dot generate content, same one which we have used earlier. This time we are using a type called mime type, which is image slash JPEG. And we are providing what JPEG or data. Basically we are using base 64, this base 64 we are importing at the top and we are encoding the image value which is image one dot content which is using this httpx dot content and we are encoding into base 64 and if we scroll a little bit right we are along with that image we are passing the prompt as well in a list prompt is our question so we are giving the image and even you can put multiple images if you require we need to put in this dictionary format like mime type and data, then you need to provide the prompt. And that is all. Once we have the response from the model, we can print out response dot text. Now let's see, still my virtual environment is running. And obviously I need to install this HTTPX, which is not installed by default. For that, what I'll do, pip install HTTPX. Okay, now it has installed that one. This time I'll run Python image AI HTTP.py as we are getting that image from the internet. Hit enter, wait a bit. Let's scroll up and it is saying that is a stunning photo of Victoria Falls. Here is the description. The image is landscape oriented photograph showcasing the majestic Victoria Falls and some more details on that, which we couldn't know directly looking into this photo. Now, this is one image from the internet. What if we have an image locally on our machine, wherever we are running the program from. So let's close out this image now and let's take a look if we can do that also. I'll open the another file, which is image AI local dot py. Previously we have used that HTTP X, but now instead of that, as it is our local, we will be using PIL dot image one library. We'll be importing the OS. This is default library. And again, the Gen AI library. Then I'm defining the path of my local image and let's open the local image, which is test.jpg. And this is our image basically. Some mountain area with a rainbow. Then you need to provide your path to the JPG as it is in the local folder. I'm just providing the file name. Then I'm using that PIL library, pil.image.open to that image path. Again, the same fundamentals, configure your API key which model I want to use with that Gen AI and I'm using the same prompt. You can change your prompt according to your need. I am providing prompt and sample file and simply we'll be printing the response dot text as we have done already. Let's open our prompt and this time I need to install that PIA library and let's do that. For that, I will use this command pip install pillow and hit enter. This is done now. Same fundamentals Python 
and this time the file name will be image ai local dot py hit enter wait a bit that's a stunning photograph here is the description the image a vibrant rainbow something something lake in the mountain and so on this is how we can use our images to get some values using this gemini 2.0 or google ai studio ai api let me know in the comment section how you feel about this and this is absolutely free as i am using the free tier and in our upcoming episodes we might try with some other things with this ai kind of a thing till then stay tuned thanks for watching